My name is uh, Luke Jusse. I'm the chief epidemiologist at the Boston VA and associate professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School, uh, director of research in the Division of Aging at Brigham and Women's Hospital, Department of Medicine. Um, I just presented at the 22nd Annual uh, Work Hard Congress in Vancouver, uh, British Columbia. And the title of my presentation is uh, Statin Modifies the Association Between Fish Consumption and Risk of Heart Failure Among uh, Male Physicians. Uh, as you know, uh, heart failure epidemic is a major uh, burden, uh, a major uh, drainer of healthcare budget partly due to uh, the rise in obesity epidemic, advanced in medical and surgical progress in treatment of coronary heart disease so that people are surviving their first heart attack and uh, going on to develop heart failure. Uh, why do we know from prior study, prior trial, uh, major determinant of heart failure, uh, the prognosis after diagnosis of heart failure remains grim and it is imperative to find uh, ways to improve not only the risk factor, but also survival after heart failure. So the purpose of the, my study was to see whether uh, statin use modifies the association between fish consumption and the risk of heart failure, because our group and other have previously demonstrated that major lifestyle factor, including moderate drinking, uh, proper diet, including uh, omega-3 fatty acid, uh, fish consumption, uh, broil, bake, but not fry, could lower the risk of developing heart failure. So uh, the population that we study uh, involved participant of the physician health study. This is a completed randomized trial of aspirin among uh, 22,071 uh, U.S. male physicians. Um, and we obtain information on fish consumption through uh, food frequency questionnaire. And heart failure ascertainment uh, was initially done via annual questionnaire. And because these are male physicians, the uh, accuracy of self-reported heart failure uh, correlated very well with physician uh, adjudicated uh, event via review of medical record using Framingham criteria. So uh, statin use was self-reported also through annual questionnaire. And we use a traditional uh, cost regression model to estimate survival analysis. And uh, group fish consumption into several categories, uh, less than once a month, one to three per month, once a week, two or more consumption per uh, week. So our major data is that after 11 years of follow-up, we have about 1,000 new uh, heart failure uh, occurring in this cohort. And we observe uh, lower risk of developing heart failure among physicians who were being treated with statin, and not so much among physicians that were not receiving statin. So the uh, p-value for interaction was highly significant. And in our secondary analysis, we asked the question, is it just fish, or what about other omega-3 in general that may or may not be uh, consumed via fish, thinking supplement? So uh, our database also included nutrient, uh, so we could afford to do such secondary analysis. So looking at uh, total uh, long-chain omega-3, like EPA and DHA, we observe uh, a significant uh, interaction between uh, statin use on the relation between dietary omega-3 and heart failure risk in that physician who were consuming um, omega-3 had a lower risk only if they were treated with statin. But if they were not receiving statin, uh, we did not see any effect. What does that mean? Uh, this means possibly that uh, a combination of statin and omega-3 could be more powerful than either alone in curbing the epidemic of heart failure. 
As to mechanism, it's too early to tell. And as any observational study, we have limitations. We have single time ascertainment of fish. Um, there could be uh, several type of biases. But uh, it's a good start. And in the future direction, we have to uh, confirm the, as many of you are aware, the ongoing vital trial uh, with the intervention of vitamin D and omega-3, one gram per day. Uh, it's a good uh, setting to uh, asset, ascertain uh, these findings. Uh, we were funded by the NHLBI to uh, adjudicate heart failure in vital. And in the future, we should be able to uh, answer the question as to whether statin use modify the association between an intervention with one gram per day of omega-3 and incident heart failure.